welcome dear friend this is kit arts bh commerce and m science our well known ktm college nasik i i am dr ramnath andre assistant professor in department of zoology today we deal with the fbsc semester for uh, subject animal diversity chapter name is principle of classification and topic is systematic part 2 before we discuss about systematic part 2 uh, we are just went to the back side lecture or previous lecture in the previous lecture we discuss about or we learn the definition of systematic we also go through the introduction of systematic difference between the word of taxonomy and the systematic and the linear system of classification or six level of classification we discuss in the last lecture now we today this uh, learning object of today's session in this lecture we discuss about concept of species and introduction to the binomial nomenclature the concept of species according to the linnaeus the species is a unchangeable unit in the systematics and taxonomy this is a very very basic unit in animal taxonomy or systematics lemar and uh, darwin is a put forward the some concept of species the uh, lemar and darwin they give the two concepts as a monotypic species polytypic species or dynamic species concept then emerson is a give the another concept of species there is it the organism evolved by the reproductive isolation and genetically distinct simpson also put forward the his idea related to concept of species that is the organism are depend on ancestral descendant and christian friendson is also give the his opinion related to the concept of species the species are the ontological concept here the another man the duban husky is a give the definition of the very proper definition of biological species definition a group of individuals which while passing through the order of evolution has been physiologically and genetically incompatible with other group of individuals and this is known as a species again okay? the mass is a put forward the another concept or another uh, phenomena related to species he invented or he put the his opinion a group of individuals are potentially interbred in natural population which are most morphologically distinct and reproductively isolated from the neighboring natural group that means here this definition of this is a biological species concept in biological species concept that is a, any group of individual they are interbred in bit and in natural condition they are morphologically distinct and reproductively isolated that means the one species is not reproduced to the or not uh, in term of uh, population with the other group so this is the very important part as like to the biological species then we go through the types of species what is the which other types of species in that first one there is a allopatric the allopatric species is a deals with the study of species or species is developed by the separated by the 
geographical origin. Those species are developed due to the geographical range or the geographical separation. This type of species is known as a allopatric. The picture here is picture show that uh, Saudi Arabia, then Amen and Oman, the three UAE, these are the four countries. And in that four country, uh, birds. This, there is a one species of bird in Saudi. Saudi, there is another species of bird. Then Oman, there is again another species of bird. That is, these are the same. These species are the similar, but they are allopatric species. Why? Because they are geographically separated by the this geographical range and therefore these are the different species found in the different map then the how they develop the allopatric species and uh, some scientists is uh, curiously we did the, some experiment in Drosophila as a model system in the animal science the scientists take the some dosophila and put in the two cages. They give the two type of the food. One dosophila give the dash food and other dosophila give the malpash food. Here we see the one cage they provide the malpash food and another cage provide the starch food. And similarly the food is given and they take the many generation in is passed and after many generations is completed of the these two food provided dosophila then finally he take the some number of dosophila from the maltose food provided and the other uh, starch provided food so take it and mix in the in one mix in the one thing. and he observed that this Two species are not copulated or not reproduction. So only the days are reproduction is take place by the similar food preference. And therefore, this picture will show that the allopatric species is developed due to the geographical separation. There is sympatric species. What is the sympatric species? Sympatric species develop due to the geographical overlap. For example, here is picture show that the two lips are overlap each other. And similar thing that in the nature, the geographical area overlap together and then there is some species are the two sort in the overlap. Here, the pig frog and the grouper frog, these two frogs are the sympathetic type of species because they are geographically mixed each other and afterwards they are two species are there. Then, the third one, this is a parapetic species. The parapetic species, that means those organisms are sorting by the geographical range with narrow range. The narrow range they are they're sorting from the one group to the other group, uh, one area to other, one locality to other locality, and ultimately they develop the own species. Similar like here, we will see the one bird, there is cannabis tree bird, this is a black spot, this bird living here. This is the one species. And same another, another species, this is blue panel, we have seen that this is narrow bond and they sorting by the there is very geographical range, narrow area, they live it and they develop the the new species. And that type of species concept or that type of species is known as a parapetic species. Next one is the sibling species. What is sibling species? It is a branch of this is a sibling species are the morphological similar organism but they are reproductively isolated. Here the picture is show that this is the picture there is two birds. They are morphologically similar but 
value product will be calculated. Or endosophila Suzuki and endosophila sub durosella, these two species are both are dorsophila, but the species is very the morphological similar but cannot reproduce their reproduction isolated. This is known as the or this is that type of the organism or that type of species is known as a sibling. Then the next type of species is known as a skeptic species. So skeptic, what is a skeptic species? Again, skeptic species are morphologically similar, but they are genetically and sexually different. Then monotypic species. Monotypic species. These types of species are the in some genus only found the single species, not including the other subspecies, and this is known as a monotypic species. Monotypic species, this is an example of shoes. These are the only one species found in the genus, and these are the monotypic the polytypic species, this is a reverse condition of the monotypic condition. The in single genus, they found the two or more subspecies, which is known as a polytypic species. Then, the endemic species. The endemic species, these species are found in the specific region, specific area, and this type of the species is known as the endemic. Next. Uh, terms of the species is the transient species. The transient species, those species are the only fossil record is there, they are not living form. This is known as a transient. Then, agamous species. What is agamous species? The individual are produced a gamut, but fertilization is not take place. This is known as a gamut. They are produced by the obligatory part in units. For example, in male bees are a gamut. They are produced a gamut, but not fertilization state, and that type of species is known as a gamut. Then, panmetic The panmetic species that means single interbreeding population of organism is known as a panmetic. Apometic species. Apometic those organisms mixed in the gamut of two different individual this is known as a apometic species. These are the different species we learn the tangent species, then the skeptic species, monotypic species, holotypic species biological species, evolutionary species, these are the different names of the species concept and these are the values in the different on condition. Then we discuss our next part, this is the introduction to the binomial nomenclature, the naming of organism and the naming of organism. Here yeah, the question is come across to us this is why need to the naming of organism and this answer of this question will get us the binomial nomenclature you know that in the nature there is so many number of species and the number of organism is more found in the environment ultimately we need to the naming of organism for the his identity and then the car linear is a put forward the one idea as a one car inventory is put forward in his research. This is a binomial number. Binomial nomenclature that means linear is a perform the or they give one specific system is developed. This is a any naming of organism is a belong to the two words, two words of the country. That means which are the two words in that the first word is a genus and the other word is a species. That two name scientific uh, two words in scientific name this is known as the one is a genus name and the other is a species name which is known as a binomial nomenclature. 
we also put forward the another one concept which is a dynamism in the scientific name consists of three words which is known as known as a dynamism nomenclature which are the three words in the scientific name organism in that the genus name species name and the first species name which is known as a dynamism then international commission of zoological nomenclature they have some aims and objective of as i said the first one is the they perform the naming of taxa why the naming of taxa they avoid the use of name duplication they also avoid the ambiguity and confusion and the standardization and the legation of common adapted what are the rules of ic ic zn the genus species and sometimes the sub species of it given to the organism genetic name is the single always begin with a capital letter and it also the in paragraph forms the first and there is capitalized and other afterwards the name of scientist who discovered the species his name is added at the end of and abbreviated with the roman form the species name began with a small letter it is not abbreviated the scientific name should be printed in the italic or latin format the new name should be should not less than 3 or more than 12 letters this scientific name is easy to pronounce scientific name should be single language that is uh, it is always belong to the latin language the scientific name is written hand written then we need to the underline this word okay thank you and visit again to this lecture okay we discuss to the next part in the next lecture.